So we've been having storage issues for months now. And one of the things we were considering is another warehouse space somewhere here in Pennsylvania near, nearby. It's expensive and we're probably not prepared to do that. So we had this scheme of installing cargo containers as temporary storage solution for you know a little while. And that's what we're up to right now. So the excavators arrived about an hour ago. I'm gonna go down and take a look at it. See what we're up to. Yeah, I think the surface done. I'll let you get it. Dead bodies, that's that's good. Mark, so good. It's, it's, it's supposed to be completely watertight yet. It's used, but I see little lines of rust and stuff yeah. that look like water. It could be condensation though. Yeah. what I was That's looking what for looking earlier. For. Hey, mess up Rick's dad. Rick's dad. Oh man, he's not even getting... What is this? What, what is this shit? Look at this. This has Pete and Rich written all over it. Oh, oh, oh. Rich in there? I want to see where that wire goes.
There he is. <laughs> Are we hiding behind that second stack of boxes? Don't you worry about where we're hiding, Sunshine. What were you doing? Walking around. Yeah. Looking for you. What are you doing? <laughs> Looking for you. Bad news for you. Good news and bad news. What is it, Josh? So we've gotten approval from Doug to move forward with the foam repackaging plan on modular gaming tape. The good news is that it's better labor for you guys. It's easier to do. But the minimum water quantity is going to cause us to get two trailer loads of foam. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> want to go around and capture like what our storage situation is today and why we got the storage containers. Talk a little bit about that for. What's the right here? We'll see, we'll take a quick tour with our plant manager and understand why this is happening. This here is a machine that eats. This is where we're starting to put inventory. Well, this would be raw material yes. storage. But this is now becoming overflow. Yes. Is that sweet grill I found? Sweet grill, baby. Flagstone. This is the pole shed that we used to use for lumber and machinery that we weren't using. So we sold all that to take the pole shed to put inventory. And this stuff is all ready to go to the customer. It's not just random stuff laying around. No. We're, we're ready to send it. Come on, Josh, keep up. This is Kelly's idea oh, yeah, yeah, well. to put the trailer here. And this is one of three tractor trailers that we have that we keep finished product in. Bug beds, finished products. One of three trailers. Come this way, John. Seems to be enjoying himself a little too much. Hello! No one here. This should sort of look like a workshop. Right. Yeah, but it's full of stuff. Come on, Josh. <laughs> this is where the new hex table is going to be. All the way down. And then on this side is the GM tables. All the way down. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> Raw material, lots of stuff. The good news is some of this will go away. But the bad news is I need three times that room though, Josh. Yeah. More than that. And as you go down, it starts to turn into finished goods. Finished product starts here and goes down raw accessories. And this was moved upstairs to create more room downstairs. This is our second tractor trailer that we have stuff in. So now some of the trailers that we're using as storage, they're not There's packed no, tight to the gills, but the reason pulling. for that is so that, that people can get in and pick yep. and pull. If we There's, pack it to the gills, people can't move stuff around, so that's also why. There's one out in the parking lot also. Okay. Let's go to the shipping containers. Josh, okay. lead the way. And then out here yeah. is... That's, so that's the plug dark Doug's car in. I'll show you a Tesla charger. <laughs> and now the shipping containers were Kelly's idea. So three shipping containers. The center one will be raw material, what they're putting in now. And the other two will be finished product. And hopefully we're going to put felt in this one. How much room do we have in your garage? I 
go get underneath that. But he's, he's, he said to wait until he got out here, so I haven't called yet. Move it. Move it.